Hello there, this is Yinkaojo again and welcome to my channel Guy Talk with Yinkaojo. How have you been? I'm so excited to have you here. First of all, let me celebrate those who are new subscribers. Thumbs up, we celebrate you. Now, if you have not yet subscribed, listen, what are you waiting for? I expect you to please smash the uh, subscribe button right now. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so that you know when I come up with another special, awesome, juicy video based on the word of God like I always serve us every week. Also, I want you to like this, share this, and I want you to just spread the word around and let people know that great things are happening on Guy Talk with Dean Kaujo. Now, today I want to talk to you about money matters, the matter of money. I want to talk to you today about your motives and your mindset concerning money. Yes, the issue of money is a spiritual topic. Now, in this part of the world, we see that a lot of the movies, how people go into the realm of the diabolic, dark, spiritual world to acquire money and um, ability for money and all of that. Listen, uh, you may look at that and say, well, that's fiction. But you see, even the devil, one of the temptations he brought to Jesus Christ, one of the three temptations, was that the second one, he offered Jesus the wealth of this world, if only Jesus would worship him. So you see, uh, of course, Jesus overcame that temptation, but it's a real temptation, it's a spiritual subject, and uh, we need to understand that Satan, the dark spiritual world, is interested in the wealth of this world. Also, God Almighty, who created the wealth into this world originally has a purpose and a reason for it and is interested in this wealth getting into the hands of the righteous so that righteousness and good can be done on earth now money takes on the nature of the person that is holding it money is neither good nor evil in itself money is just neutral if the heart of the possessor of wealth is evil then the money will be utilized to spread evil. But if the uh, agenda and the heart and the motive and the things on the heart of the owner is righteous and good and godly and after Christ, then that money will ultimately be utilized to win souls, to disciple souls, to fund orphanages, to do wonderful positive things for mankind. Now, that is why it's important for us to think about money as money comes to our hands. I've hardly met anybody that believes in poverty. Now, wealth and prosperity was placed here before Adam was created here by God. We'll see that in Genesis chapter 2, that gold was here in the Garden of Eden before God put Adam here. Why? So that Adam could discover it and ultimately utilize it in his kingdom purpose of bringing glory to the Lord. Money motives and mindset. When it comes to money, wealth coming your way, with your motive, you need to ask yourself, what is my motive for wanting to have money? Is it just so that I can just um, let everybody know that I have a lot of wealth and I can use it to show off? No, that is not a good enough reason. The best motive is for us to be rich towards God. There was a rich man who suddenly became wealthy overnight. And uh, God came down on that night and required uh, his soul from him. And Jesus gave us that story saying the reason is because the man was not rich towards God. So wealth is supposed to be utilized to lavish on God through his work, through his kingdom projects, by our tithing, by our lavish offerings into the agenda of Christ and his church. That's the primary reason. The second reason is to use to display, after doing that in, in place, the secondary reason is to use it to push the agenda of blessing mankind and showing the love of Christ to people all around. Now listen everybody, your motive, if your motive is set a right in this way, God is going to make sure that there's no stone left unturned to make sure real serious wealth comes your way. So, and it all boils down to our mindset, our worldview about money. It determines whether God will allow mega wealth to flow to you or not. If you have the wrong worldview, you have the wrong mindset, then God is going to just restrict the amount of righteous wealth that comes your way. So, money, listen, money will, money is a bad master, but a very good servant. 
let that be your philosophy that money will be a servant in my life money will not rule me now if money rules you you will not be able to give you cannot give to god you find it difficult to give to mankind but when you understand that money is just a tool to use to show god that we love him and to use to show mankind that god loves them through us all right so don't have the mindset there's some funny mindsets people have for instance people think that when i have a lot of money i'll be happy and it will solve all my problems that is not a good mindset to have in fact when you have money people that really have billions they understand that it doesn't necessarily equate to happiness or joy that that is solve all problems there are problems there are there are problems that cannot be solved i i'd like telling the people of a story of this is a story that i can you can just imagine a man is sick incredibly sick but he has billions and billions of dollars and pounds in the bank but they cannot find they cannot find a cure to his sickness when people go to him on his dying bed and as they come out what do they say oh poor man oh poor man does that mean he doesn't have money that show of course he's got money that shows that there's much more to poverty than absence of money so when you are helpless that is when you are truly poor and it can be you can have money or not money and be helpless so you've got to have the right kind of mindset concerning money that god ultimately when you have god on your side and you know how to get a hold on god and you have favor with god you are truly rich money money is on a lower level uh, of power God's power, God's grace, God's glory, God's anointing is the highest form of power. So please get, understand the motives, get your right motive and get your mindset right and you have a good foundation for God to bless you with wealth. What do you think I've, about what I've shared today? I want you to like, share, comment. I want you to hit the notification bell and I want you to please make sure you subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Well, until I see my next video, this is Nikao Joe saying bye for now. God bless.